Félicien Rops, born in Namur, Belgium in 1833, was a versatile artist associated with symbolism and fin de siècle Paris. His artistic talent spanned painting, illustration, caricature, and innovative printmaking, particularly in intaglio techniques like etching and aquatint. Though not widely known to the general public, Rops was highly respected by peers, collaborating with influential authors and poets of his time, including Baudelaire, Mallarmé, and Heismans. Best known for his prints illustrating erotic and occult literature, Rops also created oil paintings, landscapes, and contributed to Belgian comics, showcasing his diverse artistic range. Rops' early education and artistic tendencies emerged during his time at a Jesuit school, where he gained notoriety for uninhibited caricatures of his teachers. After the death of his father in 1849, Rops' compromise with his mother led him to enroll at the Athene Secondary School in Namur and the Academy of Fine Arts. Moving to Brussels in 1851 to study law, Rops shifted his focus to art, attending the Académie de Saint-Luc, contributing to student magazines and co-founding the Island Spiegel in 1856. In 1857, he married Charlotte Paulet de Favot, leading to a period of tranquility at Tose Castle with a comfortable life as a country gentleman. Rop's encounter with Baudelaire marked a significant friendship, influencing his artistic direction and elevating his visibility in the Parisian literary and artistic scene. By 1871, Rops settled permanently in Paris, facing personal challenges in his marriage due to extramarital affairs, but thriving in the artistic and literary world. Despite personal turmoil, Rops achieved critical acclaim and financial success, boasting of being the best-paid illustrator in France by 1877. Involved in a menage à trois with Madame Duluc and her daughters, Rops remained a prominent figure in the Parisian art scene until his death. Rops, a Freemason and member of the Grand Orient of Belgium, faced a near loss of eyesight in 1892, but continued his artistic pursuits. With deteriorating health and legal challenges from his estranged wife, Rops made a will in 1896, leaving everything to the Deluxe sisters, with whom he lived until his death in 1898. Posthumously awarded the Legion of Honor in 1899, Rops' legacy endures through the Musée Félicien Rops in Namur, housing thousands of engravings and paintings, and his extensive correspondence providing insights into late 19th century European culture. <laughs>